Aircraft carriers serve the purpose of serving as transportable air stations. These naval ships constitute an integral part of a nation's naval fleet, considering that they help to bridge gap between stationary air stations and urgent requirement of aircraft during wartime emergencies. These ships are generally the largest warships of a country's naval fleet, as they double up as both warships and aircraft carriers. At present, it is reported that there are nine countries which possess these biggest ships as a part of their fleet, while the US Navy operates the largest fleet of such vessels. Similarly, in terms of size and operational capacity, it's the United States fleet of aircraft vessels that take the pick of the crop as the world's biggest aircraft carriers. Here's five biggest aircraft carriers in the US military. Number 1. USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78 USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is the lead ship of her class of United States Navy aircraft carriers. The ship is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Ford, whose World War II naval service included combat duty aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey in the Pacific Theater. USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is the newest full-sized aircraft carrier to be contracted by the United States Navy USN, and represents a next-generation supercarrier, featuring advanced systems, subsystems and onboard facilities to make her the most powerful surface warship on the high seas. Ford's displacement is 110,000 tons, short, under load, with an overall running length of 1,106 feet, with a beam, flight deck included, equal to 256 feet, and a draft of 250 feet. The ship has required 10 million feet of electric cable and 4 million feet of fiber optic cable for its various systems and subsystems. To support the crew and ship's needs, she has the capacity to produce 400,000 gallons of fresh water daily, and the kitchen can supply 15,000 meals a day. Number 2. USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71 USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71, is the fourth Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. She is named in honor of Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States. She is the fourth ship named in honor of Theodore Roosevelt, three bearing his full name and a fourth with just his last name. Another three U.S. Navy ships have Roosevelt in their names in honor of members of the Roosevelt family. Theodore Roosevelt was the first aircraft carrier to be assembled using modular construction, wherein large modules are independently constructed in lay-down areas prior to being hoisted into place and welded together. Modular construction, made possible through the use of a huge gantry crane capable of lifting 900 tons, cut 16 months off Theodore Roosevelt's construction time, and the technique has been used on every aircraft carrier since. CVN-71 put into operation in the late 1980s, as a part of the Nimitz class of aircraft ships, the Theodore Roosevelt has a displacement of 1, 17,200 tons. The vessel played a very important role during the Gulf Wars. Number 3. USS George Washington, CVN-73 USS George Washington, CVN-73, is a United States Navy nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the sixth carrier in the Nimitz class, and the fourth U.S. Navy ship named after George Washington, the first President of the United States. George Washington, commonly known as GW, is 1,092 feet long, 257 feet wide and 244 feet high. The supercarrier can accommodate approximately 90 aircraft and has a flight deck 4.5 acres, using four elevators that are 3,880 square feet each to move planes between the flight deck and the hangar bay. Commissioned in the year 1986, the USS George Washington has a total displacement of 1, 16,700 tons. The vessel is capable of holding 85 fighter planes, while offering speeds exceeding 30 knots. The vessel's power comes through four propellant engines powered by two nuclear reactors. Number 4. USS Harry S. Truman, CVN-75. 
USS Harry S. Truman, CVN-75, is the 8th Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, named after the 33rd President of the United States, Harry S. Truman. The ship's calson is Lone Warrior, and she is currently homeported at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. With a displacement of 1, 16,400 tons and aircraft holding area of 4.5 square kilometers, the USS Harry S. Truman features third in this compilation. The carrier was commissioned in the year 1998 and is powered by two nuclear reactors, powering four propellant engines. These feed 4X steam turbines developing 260,000 horsepower which drive 4X shafts under stern, helping this floating island reach speeds of 30 knots in ideal conditions. Aboard is a crew of over 5,600 personnel that includes officers, enlisted, security, support staff, mechanics, an air wing and so on. The air wing alone accounts for around 2,480 staff. Number 5. USS John C. Stennis, CVN-74 USS John C. Stennis, CVN-74, is the seventh Nimitz-class nuclear-powered supercarrier in the United States Navy, named for Senator John C. Stennis of Mississippi. Put into operation in the year 1995, this aircraft carrier was named for a prominent senator of the country. The aircraft carrier has a displacement of 1, 16,400 tons, and measures almost 333 meters lengthwise, with a breadth of almost 77 meters and a draft of 11.3 meters. John C. Stennis's two nuclear reactors give her virtually unlimited range and endurance, and a top speed in excess of 30 knots. The ship's four catapults and four arresting gear engines enable her to launch and recover aircraft rapidly and simultaneously. The mission of John C. Stennis and her air wing, CVW-9, is to conduct sustained combat air operations while forward deployed. The embarked air wing consists of eight to nine squadrons. Attached aircraft are Navy and Marine Corps F-A-18 Hornet, E-A-18G Growler, MH-60R, MH-60s, and E-2C Hawkeye, 